Yeah, do you see the presentation? Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so today we will uh, talk a bit more about specifics of life in Finland throughout the eyes of a foreigner. And uh, first, uh, we will we will tell you a bit more about our agenda. Yeah, you can see it, right? Yeah, and we also want to warn you that we are using the recording, video recording now. So if you don't want your faces to be seen, so you can just hide your face. And if you don't want your voices to be heard, so you can also just mute yourself. So uh, first, we will tell you a bit more about uh, yeah, the topics, what we are doing right now. Then we will present our company and uh, also tell you a bit more about our future webinars. Uh, then we will uh, we will tell you about moving to Finland for work and studies, and we will share some information about the difficulties and cultural differences uh, we and also our friends uh, faced with. And uh, uh, then I will tell you a bit more about the most demanded specialities in Finland and uh, about our IT courses. And finally, there will be some interesting facts about Finland that you can't read in the books and some interesting life hacks how to survive in this, the happiest country in the world. Uh, so, talking about uh, shell code uh, company. So, as far as you can see, our company's name is, is uh, consists of two main words. It's shell code. It's in, in, it's in Swedish, by the way. Um, Finland is bilingual, so there are two official languages, Finnish and Swedish. So that is a Swedish language, and it means source code. And the company was founded in 2018 by Vyacheslav Sobolev and Janina Soboleva. And we provide uh, the following services. We are providing IT consulting, including outsourcing projects. Also, we are arranging employees leasing and also IT recruitment services. And uh, of course, we are also offering some IT training, including courses, advanced courses uh, and webinars on C and C++ lang languages, uh, Python, and also we arrange free courses for Ukrainian refugees. Uh, so talking about our mission, of course, we would like to implement, and we do it already, we, imp we are implementing our IT projects in the most successful and sufficient way. Uh, as well as IT recruiting and, and training. Uh, and also we are creating comfortable uh, work and study conditions for our employees and for our students. Uh, and also we really value equality. So really we, we, we don't think about religion, we don't think about uh, your psychological, your ethical, some religious and sexual stuff. So all our employees and students are equal for us. And uh, our vision, we want to become the company for people who provides educational support for refugees and also that is a desirable workplace for employees and a good partner for clients. Uh, yes, and here you can see our core values. So we really value professionalism, flexibility, human-centric approach and support, care and comfort, and also safety, quality and equality. Uh, yeah, so here you can see our management team. Uh, it's uh, Vyacheslav Sobolev, uh, Janina Soboleva, and Alena Demeka. Yeah, so we also uh, would like you to follow us on our socials, on our social media, so you can see how they look like. Here's our Facebook page, Instagram page, uh, our LinkedIn page, and Here's our website. That's how it looks like. So just press shell code and you will find us there. Yeah, and talking about future webinars and our plans. So some of the webinars will be absolutely free uh, and some of the webinars will demand like a very small price. And uh, but once you participated in the webinar or one of the webinars, free webinars, you get 10 percent discount for the webinars and also for the courses. So really it gives you some very good opportunities when you participate in our webinars. And uh, besides, uh, we have a very nice present for you. Once you come to Finland, uh, we are going to help you. We can meet you at the airport once you participate in our activities. Yeah, so we just love can tell a bit more about what we, are, we, we, what we can do for you if you- Yeah, we can give you a free ride 
to so you don't need to take a taxi from airport to your place mm -hmm. it depends either you go to hotel or to train we can deliver you there and we can give you a small hint how to do things in finland yeah yeah so guys thank you for joining us today so by joining our webinar as far as you can see you've all you're already getting discounts and also some assistance once you come to finland and uh, important note so it doesn't matter for what reason you come to finland are you coming for work are you coming as a tourist J just contact us and we will help you yeah exactly yeah and so there are our future webinars topics and uh, later on you will participate in decision making process and you will be able to even to vote for some future webinars topics that are really interesting for you so uh, there are upcoming webinars that, that have been already decided so we are thinking about uh, relocation with the family to finland and specifics of finnish educational system webinar uh, then we want to launch a webinar how to launch a business in finland difficulties and opportunities also we want to tell you more about specifics of it work in finland its difficulties and opportunities for a foreigner and in-demand jobs in finland among foreigners and how to get it and now i would like you to participate in the in the poll so here you can see the link i will uh -huh. I will now uh, put the link in there, uh, in there, sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I will exit the slideshow uh, in order to have an opportunity. How to enter, how to, can you help me please? Pick up as much slideshow. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's, it's in Swedish, so. Um. Yeah, yeah, sorry for that. Yeah, yeah, so some, some technical stuff, yes. Sorry for that. Yeah, so now we will copy the links uh, to the to the polls and we would like you to we will we will like you to participate in the poll and tell a bit more about the topics that you would like to hear and you would like to in the future webinars so we are yes uh here i i i've just put the link to the to the uh to our message box and you can see the the form so you can submit it and then there will be some results of our poll so just follow the link and you can vote yes i can even show you Okay. So has have has any everyone voted? So just raise your hand and tell if you have voted. Good. We will provide you results in the end of the webinar, so after the webinar, so we will we will tell you about the results of this voting. And well, yeah. Let us share it. Yeah, and also there is one more voting uh, concerning the, yeah, I will share the screen for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here you can also see the second link in the chat box and you can also vote for the best time for the webinars because so far we've been arranging webinars on the weekends uh, and of course there are also other options and uh, we would like to hear also your feedback concerning the other options. Yeah. So at the end of the webinar or after the webinar so there will be the poll results. Yeah and uh, then I would like to continue so thank you for participating in the poll and now we can continue is it there? Mm -hmm. yes 
our presentation. Uh, yeah. So now I'd like to tell you a bit more about some difficulties we faced uh, with uh, when we moved to Finland. So there are, there are five uh, real difficulties concerning language, isolation, uh, social disintegration, on every, that everyone knows everything but doesn't tell you. Uh -huh. And the weather. Yeah, and also the weather. And also there are some, uh, and also we are asking if there are any opportunities for the future. So yes, uh, maybe you've already heard that Finnish language is considered to be one of their most difficult ones. And uh, really once you move to Finland, of course, yeah, there is an issue that many people, they speak English, uh, but uh, some jobs, they really require learning Finnish. And uh, also in the shops, everything will be written in Finnish and it really, it can be frustrating. So it's really, it's kind of difficult. And uh, especially while you're waiting for your residence permit, there will be an isolation because it can take from seven months, even to 10 months, for, to wait for, the, for your first residence permit. And while you're waiting, you can't work really. Uh, you, are re you can be frustrated with the language that you don't know. And also there are no social networking and no social contacts. Uh, so really, it can be really frustrating for you. And um, what concerns this, my own story and the story of my friends, the life begins really when you start learning Finnish, when you start like joining some communities when you start making friends and then it's a kind of exit and real solution for this isolation and language issues. So you start learning Finnish, you start uh, attending language cafes and there are so many opportunities we would like to talk about a bit further or also during our future webinars so that it will be a real solution for this isolation and language and issues. Also, I would say that uh, this level of isolation also depends uh, for what reason are you coming to the country if you are coming with a work permit then you don't have right to come too early before you really get uh, your permit and then instantly you can make uh, find some people among your colleagues who will guide you through the very specific stuff what is finnish specific uh, for example what i saw as a difficulty in my first days in finland was that uh, atm was uh, offering me only finnish language so i asked my colleague to show me example how can i withdraw money from atm and just wrote steps on the paper <laughs> It was the only solution how I can deal with this mission by that day. Yeah, also there is one more difficulty called everyone knows everything. It means that, well, people will take it for granted, some important information for the foreigners. So be ready that there will be some issues. Nobody will tell you how to deal with them, really. For instance, I, I, I managed, I had an issue while getting this so-called Henkilatunus or this ID card. So really nobody, uh, like no, none of the social services, even banks, they never told me about this ID card. Uh, while if you don't have ID card, you don't have really access to your bank account, this online bank account. Uh, also, you don't have this uh, access to the socials uh, to the to the social services like taxes, information, medical services, whatever online. So you have to go there physically and stand in the line. And nobody told me, and nobody even when I was asking, okay, is it possible to book something online? They were like, yeah, maybe we don't know. Uh, yes, and that was a real issue. And uh, I was like also asking their their people the immigrants who have who've been living here for a while and they also didn't know anything about this id card they just forgot about it let's say yeah and what really happened i've been like searching in the internet different chats different um, i don't know forums what to do and how to get this uh different access to to, to this social to this online services and then it turned out okay it's an id card 
And that's why we've already decided that uh, our one of our missions is to help free people to figure out what to do in Finland and to help them to relocate also to Finland. And that would be a kind of very honorable mission because there are so many there are so many issues that people face too and uh, yeah and really there is no assistance there is no real support because everyone knows everything it's obvious just get your id card or whatever else yeah and in a way it's because they think about everybody that is very clever it, because well people cannot be just so stupid that they don't know about id card Everybody is good and clever and everybody already knows everything. So there is no need to give any kind of advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and the opportunities are to get into some community, start learning the language and also cooperate with Shalcott. There is some <laughs> small judges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now talking about some jobs and so once you are you so it, it's possible that some people they move for work and they already some have some profession and so that you can be ready and well prepared how much you will be paid in finland and but some people they move for some other reasons they can be students or they can get married or whatever so then you can you can get your uh, education here in finland and you also should be prepared how much you will be paid and what profession to get so uh, as far as you can see the most in demand profession are nurses uh, but they get only 15 euro per hour so yeah there is such a so the second best is medical assistance. So medical services are really in demand in Finland and they get a bit more. They get 16 euro per hour before taxes. Uh, then uh, the third best is uh, social developers. And, and here you can, software developers. Yeah, software developers. And here you can see the medium price for the profession. But remember that there are different kinds of, uh, of software developers. There are junior, there are middle ones, and there are senior ones. So that is the very middle, let's say, salary, because the senior ones, well, they can get over 100, et cetera, euro per hour. So that's why it's something like in between. Uh, then there are social workers and teachers. So teachers are really in demand here. And I know that, for instance, Ilka Paivako did. It's been all, even so that they've been uh, inviting people from abroad uh, with appropriate uh, education and uh, offering their workplaces here in the kindergartens. Uh, but uh, then uh, the social workers and teachers uh, not an assistance, but real teachers who got a master degree in education, they get 24 euro per hour. And then there are childhood uh, educators, uh, school educators mostly. Uh, uh, they they get 13 euro per hour. Dentists, yeah, it's also good. It's really good to be a dentist or, or a doctor here in Finland because then you will get 61 euro per hour. So yeah but and uh, that's average that's average some, yes some of yes. them should get even more yes yes but the point is you should also be ready to that uh that once you move to finland and you always already have medical education you have to approve it here in finland and there is there are some services and we also can help you with that we can tell you where to go and what to do how to approve your education but once you receive education in Finland, that education shouldn't be approved. So then you will get quite good salary. And also there are psychologists. They are also in demand and they get 30 euro per hour and also speech pathologists. And then uh, the uh, last but not least uh, in demand professions are shop sales assistants. Uh, they get 14 euro per hour and also kitchen helpers and cleaners. They get 12 euro per hour and also what should be mentioned every profession which is related to healthcare requires very good knowledge of finnish and maybe even swedish language yes, yes. so it's uh, impossible to be a doctor here uh, if you know english only exactly and in this sense we can mention 
I would say only software developers who can use English only. And yeah, get quite a good, I mean, get really good salary because the salary depends on the level. So if you are senior, you just have a good life and you can use English and there is no need to learn Finnish, I would say. And in some cases, yeah, yeah, even no, no, medical, medical services also should be provided in Finnish. So really Finnish is required everywhere except uh, software developer uh, development area yeah so as far as you can see uh their software development uh and it is on the third place of among the in-demand jobs in finland and you can see also the situation in 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 the world situation and the world ranking and the finnish it is doing quite well so it's uh, on the it takes the 13th position and uh yeah among all the countries so it's, and for such a small country it, it's quite good results yeah definitely it is so if fin if finland were bigger it would be maybe the first or the second position truly yeah yeah and now uh we would like to ask you because now we would like to uh make a small advertisement concerning our future upcoming courses advanced courses uh, you can raise your hands who are interested to get uh, some advanced uh, programming courses. Yes, yes, yes. So that we will now know whether we should tell a bit more about it and uh, whether we should uh, you, we should ask you to participate in the pool or whether we can give you some brief information that you can spread among your friends. So please raise your hands while if you are interested in programming courses. There is a message in the chat, so I think we should take care of it. Yes, yes, I can see that. Yeah, so if nobody is interested, I guess we can just make a very brief announcement and then you can just, well, tell your friends if they're interested. Yeah, so... Yeah, so co courses, uh, we do offer cor courses for those who want to improve their knowledge about programming languages. And three different options is about different amount of people in the same group. So the more personal courses, the more expensive it is. But I would propose that we will not uh, spend too mm -hmm. much time for because people are not mm -hmm. much interested in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just uh, have a look. Uh, what options do we offer and what is the crowd options and how many students will be there and how much it will cost and here you can also see the contacts of our tutor Vyacheslav Sobolev uh, yes and I would like to say a bit more about Vyacheslav and you can see well, that well, maybe we can answer the question in our chat so, average retirement age in Finland is it over 60 now? Yes, it is over 60. Uh, usually it's between 63 to 65. Uh, yes, it's between 63 and 65. Yeah. And some people really prefer to work a bit longer because that helps to make their pension bigger. Because all the time when person works in Finland, the, there is a kind of special account where money are growing. For the future pension the more you pay taxes the bigger pension you get in the end yeah yeah and by the way if you are a foreigner who works in finland and for for instance you would like to move somewhere else but you've been working here for a while you've been like paying this uh, pension ta taxes let's say you can get it you, you can take it back let's say so there are also such opportunities uh yeah and many finnish pensioners they continue working because well the working conditions are really good in finland and uh, we will talk about it a bit more at our future webinars but yes it's usually between 63 and 65 but people continue working because yeah and what is also it's a good sign that with such age people are still able to work yes and by the way uh what do you think i would like now to ask you about some of your guesses uh, for how long in average people live in like this yes the average uh, 
expected like, lifetime yes, in yes, England, yes. right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So what do you think? The average one, it means that some people live much more. Okay. Well, obviously, it should be bigger than what is set for pension. <laughs> mm, it's 80. Ah. So it's average. It means that 80 is average, and many, many people, there are people who live much more. So, really, yeah, people have a good life here because it's uh, Finland is one of the top ranking countries uh, for the living conditions and also for the how long the people live yes yes and yeah you can see also some some of the advertisement of Vyacheslav and some of the really good references but it's about the courses and as we've decided to skip it uh as yeah as well as the poll so we can now start talking about some life hacks and about some interesting facts about Finland yes 80 exactly thank you team yes so uh, the first thing we've already discussed is uh, everyone knows everything. Yes, and don't let people to know too much. Well, but I think it is slowly changing in Finland mm -hmm. because uh, at least some services, like uh, social services, mm -hmm. they start to explain people uh, their rights, mm -hmm. especially for foreigners. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it used to be really... A, part of difficulty mm -hmm. to be in Finland, but it get, gets better over time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so the second interesting uh, fact is the quality of water and food, and they're also eco-activists. So talking about the quality, the quality of water and food is really good. You can raise your hand uh, whether it's possible in your countries to drink the water from the tap. Is it is it possible just as it is? Or should you buy water, bottle water from the shops? Okay, because in Finland you just drink it as it is. There is no necessity to buy the water from the shop, and uh, you just drink a normal water. And the yeah, so it's a tap water. Yes, yes. So in in Finland the tap water is really it's cool, it's tasty, it's absolutely clean so uh, yeah and also the food quality is really good you can even see that for instance once uh the food from spain or from italy or from poland it costs so like much much cheaper than finnish food because finnish food uh, you can see once you can see the sign of the finnish food like this finnish flag uh, or um, or the key for instance yeah uh sign it means that the quality will be really high and maybe that's why people are living for such a such a long lives here and also there are eco activists so the nature will be everywhere for instance now we are living in the city center but and our office also in there uh, yes and uh, nevertheless we can see the hedgehogs coming to our front door so you open the door and you see the hedgehogs once I've seen the fox near my house, like it's it's, it's the center of the, of the city too. Uh, yes, and also so uh, and rabbits. Fox. Rabbits are absolutely everywhere. You will see little bunnies and bigger bunnies, so they are absolutely everywhere. So that's probably why fox is coming, looking for those for rabbits. the rabbits. Yes, yes, that's what is happening really. Uh, but they're also eco activists and you can also see the dogs everywhere for instance uh, there are so many pets so people like having pets but by the way the vet services are quite expensive but we will tell you a bit more at our future webinar so maybe at some private uh, conversations so yes but people love pets they love animals they really treat them greatly and uh, they there are so many so many issues about the animals so their animals rights they should live in good conditions and uh, once i've dealt with them so once they've been an innovation that like aquarium that's been recycling itself and cleaning itself so there have been like little eco ecosystem in aquarium with the fish so uh one of um, it, it's been at some other company but nevertheless so the eco activists came to that company 
uh, to have a look what was going on with the fish. So they, they uh, finally it's been forbidden for this fish to be in that aquarium because eco activists had had some doubts what that the fish probably didn't live in a good condition. Yes, by the way, it's, they were like very small goldfish. Yeah, and uh, moreover, once uh, the company uh, gave it to somebody, this fish, the eco activists came again to, to ask, okay, can you give the contacts of the people who took the fish, whether the fish live in a good condition? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that there are things and there, there is the attitude about for to, to the fish and to the nature and to pets. So they really, yeah. yeah. What really excites me here that so far I have not seen stray dogs or cats. Of course, in some areas, cats are walking outside, especially in the night, because some people still allow them to hunt around the house. Uh, but uh, it's not like that you will walk through the city center and see uh, do uh, dogs just roaming around. Yes, it's even forbidden once you have a cat in Finland. Be aware that your neighbors can complain that your cat is just walking and killing the birds because ber birds' life matters. Yes, and uh, that's why, yeah, it's quite ex important. Yeah, then uh, you can see that uh, many Finns they speak English. So, yes, on the one hand, everything will be written in Finnish in the shops, and also you can hear some Swedish because it's the la second official language. But Finns, uh, 70 percent of Finns, they speak English as the second language, so you will be understood. And that's why I think it's also the problem problem for the Finnish learners. Uh, so while you are learning Finnish, you would like to practice it, right? But once people hear your attempts, like your very weak attempts to speak Finnish, they feel so sorry for you that they switch into English immediately. So really, it's an obstacle, I would say, to learn Finnish because people will be, yeah, kind of helping you <laughs> by switching well, into uh, Yeah, I have stories that people even ask at their colleagues to stop speaking English with them because they need to practice Finnish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's a very funny story because on the one hand the Finnish is needed uh, for 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 many professions here, but despite that fact, many people speak Finnish on a almost native level as the second yeah each English sorry as the native language, <laughs> yes and uh, yeah so you will be understood everywhere, but you need to finish for the majority of the professions. Yes, it's true. So one more fact is about socialism. So maybe you've heard about uh, such a notion as Scandinavian socialism. Have you heard about that? It's about Finland, Norway and, Sve uh, and Sweden. And here also you can see that um, there are no homeless people really in Finland. So I would say you have no chances to become homeless or poor in Finland. Because well, you can be homeless if you really put your efforts into it. Yeah, you should put a lot of efforts, yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, social support is everywhere, and it's even so that if you have struggles with your teenager, the social support will be here for you, not for the teenager, but they will have the parents to deal with this teenage aggression or whatever, whatever. So. Uh, you will get housing support once you need it so yeah you will get like support for the child both money support and also this psychological support it's possible to get a three psychologist if you get tra into trouble with your kids or with your spouse so there are so many types of support to make people have the same like good living standards yeah talking about Finns who are quite happy people and uh, yeah yeah do you know that uh, Finns are considered to be the the happiest people in the world like uh, fifth time in the world yeah so I think that's one of the reasons yeah well uh, and it is actually interesting mixture that in this social services truly it's maybe name it a socialism but when you think about economy it, it, it's still capitalism. The people are free to make money. 
of course, the more they make, the, the mm -hmm. more they pay taxes, that also everyone mm -hmm. <laughs> is happy that neighbor becomes more rich because they will pay taxes also. Yeah. But so it's not uh, just socialism in the whole country. And of course, uh, money matters in the sense that uh, quality of life for different people is still different. Yeah. That's still the fact. Probably that's how it should be in the healthy country. Exactly. Yeah, and also talking about socialism and equality, I'd like to ask you a question. So there is a picture. And what do you think who e what person, what important person is in the picture? Can you, can you recognize this person? Yeah, we will we will reply uh, Ting's question a bit later. Thank you for asking. But does can you please uh, reply? Uh, whom do you see in the picture? There is one very important person for Finland. Uh, I will give you a hint. Just sitting in the stairs like a normal person. No, no security guys. Even no cars <laughs> nearby with the security guys. Okay, it's the president of a uh, president of Finland. Uh, so in Turku, while uh, listening to some uh, lecture, uh, he didn't get a seat, and he was just calmly sitting in the stairs. Absolutely, yes, yeah. Thank you, Likai. Yeah, so you can see, yeah, Sauli Minister, the president of Finland. So as far as you can see, that's how socialism work when. Uh, there are VIP first people, but uh, they don't they don't show them off like VIP people. They have the same rights as other people, and it will be like not a very good behavior of them. They will be really judged by the Finnish society if they would behave in some different way. Yeah, maybe we can answer the question. Yes, now. yes, yes, exactly. Yes, so uh, there is a question. I will read it. Are shops, stores, uh, road sign books and websites in English or at least written smaller characters? Uh -huh. uh, well, I think, I guess you can find information about traffic signs in English. Mm -hmm. Uh, or road signs, yes. It, it's, I think it, this official uh, agency, Traficom, they do have some information in English, and uh, you can find di very different languages book in, in the store. Of course, like 90% is still Finnish, but uh, there are other languages available also. Yeah, yeah, and for instance, for social services, there are also Mm, there is an uh, English option, and for some social websites, there will be also some uh, Ukrainian lately, also Somali, and Russian. So, yeah, there are options. Yeah. And uh, about uh, traffic signs, uh, compared to US, for example, I I never been there, but what I saw from videos, they have a lot of text along the road. So they write more than draw pictures, and it's quite opposite in Finland. There are only pictures and almost no text there. So once you learn the meaning, you don't need to read it every time. Yeah. And also Finnish authorities, they put efforts to uh, reduce amount of traffic signs. So they don't disturb driver too much. Yeah. Yeah. Also, maybe you've already heard about it uh, that Finns are introverts. Uh, and uh, yeah, it takes time for the neighbors to say hi to you. Yes. Uh, I remember, Vicheslav, you, you've been you've been joking. It takes like five years. So how much? No, how long uh, time? Like after first year, they probably will say hello to you. And after something like uh, this year, you have chance to have a coffee mm -hmm. together. Yeah. And I do have a question. Do you think uh, are Finns rude or is there anything else that could... Why they're so introvertic? 
what do you think can you can you can write your answers in this chat box do you think they're just rude they don't like other people oh my god they're terrible or is there anything else that can be actually quite positive for us and there was well, well people uh, mm -hmm. have time to write anything there was another great joke that when COVID pandemic came there was a rule that for people that they shouldn't come too close together two meters was uh, supposed to be a good social distance but when those rules were announced then Finnish people said what should we come closer than before <laughs> yeah so there are things but okay i can i can give you the answer to this question so uh Finns, they really respect other people's boundaries and, and they see those boundaries actually are quite far yes it, it's like a territorial water around the country 200 miles around each person <laughs> yes yes so really it's about uh respect so uh nobody will touch you without your permission of course nobody will pull you without your permission so there are really lines and it's quite strict in feelings to stand in the lines there will be nobody coming and say no it's my turn or i don't know like no i need it more than you so really you can even see old elderly people who are just standing in the line just as other people so if if the person is disabled there will be something yeah so yeah, we've got also an answer that introverts because they're concerned about your privacy and space absolutely were absolutely right Jan. yes yes so and also because their own privacy and space as they don't uh, interfere with others they also expect that other people will not bother them too much yes and uh even if you are super extrovert and you come to finland you will see the changes in yourself within even a couple of years, one year. Yeah, with me, it's been so that uh, I've been like for, in Finland for, for, for four and a half years. And uh, once I met a girl uh, from some other country and she's been like talking to me, like having like very, um, very active gesticulation and she's been like touching me during the talk and i've been like what happens how is, how is it possible <laughs> then i realized that i finalized let's say <laughs> yes I, I i we are all becoming fiends after dealing with fiends let's say and yes. uh, well actually this uh fact it also has uh a bit of downs uh side that even when person might need some help or some advice the people are not eager to interfere like yes. i saw a situation when lady was walking in the shop with open backpack so there was a risk that something will fall outside of her backpack but other people didn't bother her to tell that she has a problem yes but nobody stole anything also so you you should know that finland is one of the safest country in the world but we will talk about it a bit later uh yes and uh that's why there is one advice once you're in finland and you need something ask ask really <laughs> just say it <laughs> pronounce it yeah yeah people will help you if you ask but if you don't ask they believe you know everything yes yes everyone knows everything remember about point one <laughs> <laughs> yeah so talking about finnish weather how what do you think is it very cold here or not how cold it how cold is it is it in finland yeah you can see some joke yes about about typical wednesday in finland yeah like full of snow etc yeah so it is considered that uh it is quite cold in finland and gosh people are dying of of this frost uh but uh yeah we're having snow there by the way it was a joke <laughs> <laughs> not today uh, not today yes today is not wednesday uh yeah but nevertheless uh it's not that cold here especially if you many foreigners they by the way come to the capital region it's so-called Usima. it can be a helsinki it can be espo it can be vantar for instance the biggest cities and uh where everyone speaks english i would say 
and there are also English speaking jobs. Uh, and uh, here, more than six months, yeah, very at minus degrees. Yes, yeah, so here is it really more than six? Well, at least for last few years, I would say that this negative temperature is less than six months. Yes, it is. It is less because the global warming is coming. It's in the process, I would say. So the global warming is something good for Finland. So yes, exactly like many some maybe some 20 years ago, Finland was quite a cold country. Uh, but right now it became a, a, quite a warm country with uh, almost the same temperature as in there in the Western Europe. So, But also there is a difference between different regions in Finland. The southern part is warm, but if you go beyond the Arctic Circle, for sure, yes. it is dark and cold in the winter. Yes. So once you want to come to Finland as a tourist or for studies or for work, we would suggest you to come to the capital region. They will be normal European temperature. But there is, I think, a point about this Pinia Aika, or so-called dark times. So the dark times last from October until until february at least so well february in february uh, you already can feel that it becomes br brighter yes and also about the work at least for us software engineers there is also a couple of cities outside of uh, capital region tamper and all there are many uh, workplaces for software yeah exactly yes and so uh as the these dark times in Finland, they last for many, many months. So that is the real problem. And that's why Finns, they really, they're struggling with depression. I mean, uh, there is there is no very high rate of depression here, because remember, the Finns are the happiest people in the world. Uh, but nevertheless, um, the, the social services government want to make people even happier. And that's why once you tell that you have a depression, you will have the full services here. And also you can see so many things like in the shops that want to prevent depression. For instance, there is a, a example of so-called depression lamp that you can put. Uh, there are also so many candles uh, to, to make your, your space lighter, to help you to cope with these darker times. Also many Finns, especially pensioners or those who have remote work, they go to Spain, for instance, for this dark winter and late autumn time. And uh, yeah, just to have to have more sun and uh, more light around, yes. Yeah, for pensioners, there is a limitation. They should spend less than half of a year abroad. But if they really want to go to Spain or Thailand for three, four months during the winter, it's quite okay. Yeah, and also maybe you've heard that uh, uh, Finland is quite popular with rock music, although the rapper took the second place at Eurovision. Nevertheless, yes, uh, Finland is a metal music country, and here you can see even the metal city, world city uh, town. And you can now guess what, what what is its name. So actually, it's a very small town with a population of a bit over 3,000 people. So it's quite a small one. But anyway, it's world's metal town. But why? What, what makes it so? Uh, because there are so many uh, rock bands, uh, participants uh, were born in that, in, in that ah, town. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, it's called Lemmy, and here you can see some lin some uh, some Finnish language uh, slang. So Mia Lemmy, it's like uh, it means like I see Lemmy, I, I hear. Sorry, I hear Lemmy. Yes. By the way, once you learn Finnish, you will be really surprised that there is so called uh, Kiria Kieli and Puha Kieli. They are like two different languages. One how you write and how you talk. They are really like different. Yeah. Right. Well, how do you write a book? That's yes. a Kiria Kieli. Yes. And how people talk on the street, that's a different language. And if you learn one, you don't understand another. Yes, definitely. Yes. I, for instance, um, I am 
I am in Finnish. Kirja Kielidis book language will be uh, Mina Olen, uh, while in Puha Kieli or this speech lang speaking language will be Ma On. Nothing similar, right? <laughs> yes. So one more difficulty. Yes, I'm talking about uh, metal and rock music that is really popular here. You can see the Prime Minister. A former, former prime yes, minister former minister prime minister. Already. Yes, that she rocks. Yes, like looks like a rock star, and that is a typical Finnish former prime minister. Nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, and here we also should talk about world's best preschool educations and second best school system in the world. So can you believe it that this tiny small Finland has the best number one? preschool education, this kindergarten, and second best in the whole world. So, and you will be quite surprised uh, how, how teachers in the kindergarten or school treat children and how well educated they are. And we will, we will devote the, the whole webinar talking about education in Finland and relocation with the family. So you will know more, but once you have a family, and once you want your children to get the best education and want to be uh, equal free children, the happiest ones in the world also. So really you're well, very welcome to Finland together with your family. Uh, yes, maybe you also heard about incredible libraries in Finland. And by the way, talking about libraries, I would like to ask, uh, have you ever heard uh, what kind of library is it? It's, it's located in Helsinki. It's quite a new library. It's called Odi. And uh, uh, in Finnish libraries, and uh, in particular in this Odi library, it's possible to, do, to have everything for free. You can book a conference room. Uh, you can book, um, mm, let me tell you this, um, book, uh, the room, uh, like this music studio with all musical instruments, uh, with recording options for free also. Maybe that's why there are so many fin rock and metal bands in Finland, because they get access for free. Uh, also, you can sue for free, so there will be like some equipment for suing also for free. So you can do everything. Yes, and by the way, you can also get your children can get uh, some tablets for free. So everything is for free, and also there are playgrounds for kids also for free. So yeah, talking about socialism and about education and about music. And they have yeah PlayStation. So it could be booked and person could, could play there for, for some hours. Yes, and talking about Finland, so Finland is considered to be the ninth uh, safest country in the world for traveling for women who travel alone. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a quite uh, a, an urgent uh, issue because yeah, it's, it's it's quite not 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 in all the countries can women can tr travel alone and women are usually the target group group for for different kind of criminals and yeah in Finland the police is is not somebody you you're you are afraid of like in some other countries and the police helps and also there is a very low criminal rate. And there is not much police in Finland, actually. Yeah. Sometimes I can spend a week without see, uh, seeing single police car on the mm -hmm. street. Yeah. And once, yeah, th there can be drunk people from time to time, of course, in the streets, and the police acts very politely. So, for instance, um, I, I came from Belarus, and I wouldn't say that the right police acts very politely. So I've seen worse, let's say. And seeing like the police is taking like the, the drunk person very, very politely asking, okay, shall we go? We will help you. So that's something that, that, that was really unusual for me. Yeah, yeah. I heard kind of same story from my friend that he realized the difference between Finland and his homeland. When police uh, found a very drunk person at the, on the edge of the street, mm -hmm. And then they realized that he is just 100 meters from his home. So they closed the road for a 
couple of minutes to let him walk through the road. And they didn't even bother to take him away. They just helped him to go back to his home. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's something really good. And yeah, and by the way, uh it won't be so that you will be robbed every now and then. So you can see uh Vicheslav was telling you about the opened purse. Yes, yeah, so nobody really they really will steal from you in the shops. So there well, are occasions, but they're quite still, rare. Still, uh, very uh, city center of Helsinki might be a place where pickpocketing still happens. But not okay. so as, as often as in other countries. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I've, I've dealt with the situation that I, I've been losing my phone and leaving my phone somewhere like for several times. I went back there and my phone been exactly at the same place. So nobody took my phone. Can you believe it? And it's not like... <laughs> It's it's not the yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I was in a, kind of same trouble that I have lost ID card, and uh, I wasn't actually patient enough, so I started process of making new, and just in one day later I got notification that it was found, and if I would be just a bit more patient, I will be just easily take it back. But uh, yeah, I didn't believe that it will return. Uh, yeah, so talking also about medical service, uh, uh, Finnish medical service system is the fifth best also in the world. So you can see that this small, tiny country, Finland, is like hits the, ran the rating, the world's rating also with medical system. But here also you can you should be prepared that it can be a bit different than in your country. So if the issue is not urgent, if you just have a flu, uh, the doctors will not you know, like put you to the hospital or there won't be necessity to pass this, you know, like some blood tests for, for many times. So it's possible that you will just get some rest. They will, they will give you a sick leave. You can just call and say, oh my God, I have some flu, you know, like runny nose, etc. And you will get medical certificate for several days and your employer will know it. Or your employer just can say without any certificate, you can stay at home for, for a couple of days and you just recover. Or just send you back home if you, if you came with a flu. Yeah, well, that's also a sign of trust between people in Finland. But if somebody tells that, yes, I do have a health problem now, then employer can very easily give the time to recover. Yeah, so also talking about taxes, maybe you've heard already that, uh, oh my God, the Finnish taxes are so high, uh, but we will devote a special, yes, there is a progressive tax. So the more you earn, the more you pay. Uh, but as far as you can see, uh, all these taxes, they are distributing very equally. So these taxes, you can see the good roads around, you can see a good infrastructure system, uh, also, yeah, very good social services. So you are paying now, but once you are in trouble, I don't know if you get bankrupt with your business or whatever happens in your life, you will get all necessary support. Also, you, your children will get uh, world's best education for free. So really, you can see where your taxes go. And by the way, for the future webinars, we've made some comparison analysis. And you will see that all in all, the taxes are not that high in the world. And we will tell you about it a bit more. Yeah. And I will tell about me, myself. As a taxpayer, I'm a bit disappointed that taxes are rising so quickly. And as a tax con consumer, I would like to see more things done with the taxes that's i think very typical for every country i have never heard that people will be absolutely happy how the taxes are spent yeah but yeah i guess so uh yeah so you can also submit a feedback uh for our webinar i will i will i will leave you uh after a while uh, in a while in the comment in, in the chat box so you can 
rate, whether it's it was good, whether it was war or normal, or whether it was like what I've done, not do it again. I we don't want to see you. <laughs> yeah, so you can rate it. And uh, I would like to tell you again, repeat that once you participate in our webinars or even in one webinar, you get good discounts for the future webinars. Once they are not free of charge, you get good discounts also for our IT courses. And also you get uh, our support when you come to Finland. So we will be here for you, meeting you at the airport, give you some good piece of advice where to go and what to do. So yeah, so you get many nice bonuses for that. Yeah, so we would like to thank you and uh, just wait in a while. I will just stop sharing and I will just put the link for the, for the ranking or you can just I don't know if you want you can just also make plus or minus if you liked it or if you didn't like it so far uh yeah and we would like you to follow us on our social networks also visit our website and yeah and stay with us